So today is the day I replaced the hard drive in the iMac G5. Um, when I bought it from the guy on Craigslist, he said the hard drive was going out. I bring it home, plug it in, and it dies. So here's the replacement hard drive. Seagate, 750 gigs, 7200 RPM, SATA 1 or 2, I'm not sure, but it should work with this one, no problem. So let's open it up. Okay, so to get into the iMac G5, you have to put it on its face. And there are three screws underneath here that uh, have to be unscrewed with a Phillips. So what you'll need to do this is a Phillips screwdriver, pretty small one, like this. And then there's a Torx, there are three Torx screws that hold the hard drive in place. You'll also need, so. But anyway, let's get started with these three screws real quick. And they, these three screws, they don't come all the way out. They just loosen. And then they stop. That's how you know that you're done screwing around. <laughs> Sorry, I might bump the tripod a little bit. This one seems sort of stripped, but and there's the third one. Jeez, this one's in tight. Why is it in so tight? There, wow. And just like that. It is off. So let's have a look at the inside here. Let's see what we're looking at. Okay, so here's the G5 processor. Here's your RAM sticks, which I believe the G5 holds up to two gigs. I think this is where it maxes out. There's a hard drive, it is upside down. So to get to the hard drive, you have to remove the fan thingy. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna do that now. So and here's all the Capacitors and blah blah blah. There's a logic board. There's a CD ROM drive. So, that's the cool thing about the old IMAX is you can get into them. The new ones you cannot whatsoever get into them. So, anyway, let's uh, go ahead and get this hard drive out if we can. So, my Phillips and my Facebook's blowing up for some reason. So was my Instagram. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so we got one screw there. And one here, I think. Anyway, let's start with this one. Okay, put that screw there. Remove this one. And this should just lift right up. Like that. Very easy, very nice. Okay, so now we have let's see, we got a screw here, a screw here, and a screw there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> take those out now. The first one. Pull up. And I'm gonna disconnect the power and the other cable. Okay, maybe I didn't screw this one all the way. I thought I did. There we go. Do the same for this one. All right. Cool. So, I want to hold on to these screws. Definitely don't want to lose them. As well as the one that fell right here. And I'm going to disconnect the 
temperature sensor thingy like that cool hard drive is out so now we take the Torx and okay so I got my Torx bit gonna fit right into here and I'm gonna go ahead and just screw all four of these out there's two on each side there's two there and there's two there so let me do that real quick and I'll be right back okay so I have the new hard drive in Seagate 750 gigs voila it's in the reservoir thingy so I guess uh, now we just put it all back together so I'm gonna go ahead and reattach the temperature sensor cable make sure it goes in the right way yeah okay sorry about that guys I had it flipped the wrong way so that's why I wasn't plugging in so you definitely make sure you got it flipped the right way so now what I'm doing is dropping screws in down in deep below where I can't reach and once I stop doing that jeez once I stop doing that we can maybe we can put the thing back together just fat fingers bro it sucks all right I had Carla here she, she's got small fingers She'll be able to get in there a lot easier than I am. Anyway. <sighs> I'm just trying to get three screws in, that's what I'm trying to do. Alright. Let me just see if I can thread it like this. I'll be back. Okay, let's try this again. I think this is a magnetic screwdriver. No, it's not. Let's see if I have a magnetic one in here. I don't know if I do. That would be great, though. Then we can continue the video. This might be. Hold on. Is this one? No. It's got a better grip, though. So, let's see. Hey, got one in. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. That's in. Where did I drop that? <laughs> okay. Almost. No. That's lovely. Get the hell out of that area. Come on, bruh. This is the biggest issue you're gonna run into is dropping screws in little crevices that you can't get out of. Come on. Okay. Got it. Okay. Now, if it wasn't for those posts, I would just put them back on the uh, hard drive uh, casing. But you have to line it up with these little posts, you know? So it's a little bit of a challenge. Hey, here's the second one. Out of there. Cool. All right, two out of three are in. So one more. The most challenging one, of course. Hey, right, there you go. All right. All three screws are in. They've got the temperature sensor on. We've got the connectors connected. Well, that's not really technical. Connectors connected. Regardless, they're connected. So I'll move this down here. Put this back on here. Get those two screws going. Okay, the flat one went on top. So put that there. Okay. 
just like that. And then the round one, right here. Put it back on. Just like that. All right, now we gotta line up the casing. And it snaps back in, it should snap back in. Is it lined up though? I guess so. Let me just double check. Always oh, like, there we go. Okay. Now it's for sure lined up. Cool. And finally, we put the three screws on the bottom, put them back in the slot. Like so. Doing the first one right now, you can't really see it, it's out of frame. Okay. And just like that, they're all in. So now we are gonna boot it up. I'm gonna put leopard on it and we're gonna see what happens. So okay, so I have my Logitech keyboard and trackpad combo connected via USB. Mac OS 10 Leopard. Let's see what happens. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, you don't want it, do you? Okay, I'll wait a second. should say that like there's no OS, you know, it should go with a little icon in the middle here. Can I give you this now? Yes, I can. Okay. So far nothing still. Um, hmm. Let me reboot it. I'm gonna hold down the option key and see what happens. So, boot, hold down the option key. Or the Windows key, I guess. But this should, in theory, tell it. Or give me the option to boot from disk. Should. Doesn't mean it will, but it should. Okay. So it's giving me the folder that there's no OS. I get that. So, is the option key to hold down or is it a different key? Let me look it up real quick. Okay, ac according to Google, it's the Alt key, not the Windows key. So let's, let's try it, I guess. Okay, got a gaming keyboard from Thermal Take, but it's wired, so we'll see what happens now. I'm gonna go ahead and first make this not crooked. Okay, hit the button, hold that alt. Okay, we definitely have power to the keyboard because it's lit up now. There we go. So, nice. All right. And I have, I have mouse input on the wireless, so that's good. Not really sure what, uh, not sure what's up with these options. I think it's still loading something. So, we'll wait. I'm not really sure what these arrows mean, I'm looking them up, but... Okay guys, I swear I've done this before, I just, it's been a while because I haven't had to fix it. a Macintosh. I've never done an iMac, so it's a little different, but um, 
I forgot one of the oldest tricks in the book is right after you hit the start button to hold down C so you can boot from a disc. Because what it was showing was it was there was not a uh, bootable drive because there's no you know there's no Macintosh OS on on this drive. So I'm holding down C so I can boot from the DVD, and then I should be able to install Leopard no problem. So I can't believe I forgot what, that old trick. There we go. That's progress, guys, right there. Very nice. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll format the 750 gig hard drive that I just installed. Um, because right now it's actually it's got Windows 10 on it. But it's a hard drive I don't need anymore uh, for Windows, so. So we'll just let this load and we'll go from there. All right, the screen's now blue. Here we go, use English as a main language, yes. Okay. To install Mac OS 10, click continue and blah, 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 blah. Uh, continue. Hit agree. I think I'm about to format the hard drive real quick. So go to utilities, disk utility. Okay, it's not seeing the hard drive in there. It's not good. To Google. Okay, I realized what what's wrong. For one, the seller who sold me this iMac, sleazy ass motherfucker, okay? I realized why it worked when it, I tried it at his house and then when I brought it home, it didn't work at all. He had Ubuntu uh, installed on this hard drive, which is actually not dead. But what he was showing me was um, the disk version of Ubuntu that was on this computer because he handed me uh, Ubuntu uh, what he did was he had Ubuntu running on on the Mac, okay, when I was testing it out to see if it worked. He was like, oh, I just installed Ubuntu on it. Okay, I was like, okay, no big deal. But I didn't catch it until just now that he was basically, basically playing me because as soon as he uh, took the Ubuntu disk out of the drive, the Macintosh wouldn't want, didn't want to shut down correctly and I was kind of in a hurry so I said I'll just unplug it no big deal and so he did he was showing me the Ubuntu disc of uh, the live CD to make it look like the Macintosh was working fine guys it has a bad SATA cable uh, the guy's a sleaze bag and if I had his phone number I would <laughs> he got lucky he didn't get my wrath Stupid motherfucker, hope you see this video. Anyway, um, so yeah, I just have to get a SATA cable for the iMac G5. I'll do that, and uh, it should be able to work just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the 750 gig hard drive in there. Cause why have 160? I mean, it's pointless, at, at, you know, this day and age. So yeah, that's, that's what you get for dealing with people on Craigslist. They're sleazy, man. It's not right, so. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to go ahead and get my CD out of the drive. So, and I will, uh, I guess I'll eventually make an updated video. But for now, that's the end of this one. So, it's done everything it's supposed to do. The hard drive's in there. It just it has a bad SATA cable. And with a bad SATA cable, you cannot install software to the hard drive because it doesn't see the hard drive because the cable is bad itself. So people man I swear all right so that's it thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video peace